Hi everyone, we keep on getting the question about RSSI, signal to noise ratio, and then RSRP and RSRQ, and everyone is confused by it. Now, firstly, the RSRP and RSRQ is related to LTE and most probably will still be used in 5G, 4G, 5G. And the reason why the one says receive signal reference power and receive signal reference quality. Now, they're important, but not important if you set up an antenna. Okay, that's an important thing to state to you. The reason why they differ from a received RSSI, which is received signal power, okay, um, and a signal to noise, which is just the ratio of the power over the noise, okay, pretty similar. And uh, I'll give you a table explaining it all. So you can look at my beautiful table. And the real thing about the RSRP and RSRQ is that they really describe the actual signal in the parts of the band. Because if you go look at OFDM, you're only using bits of the band. And they tell you what is the signal in those bits that you're using and what's the signal quality in those bits. So all of important to get good ones. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're unimportant. Um, if you get problems, you need to often solve them. So if your RSRQ is bad, often a directional antenna could help because it cuts out some of the noise, etc. It will obviously also increase your signal power. But when you set up the antenna, okay, you can purely look at the received signal. You don't have to look at those other two. Um, because there you, the antenna will receive everything, if I can put it like that. And you're not going to find it, it makes any difference to those two. If you then with a stronger signal have got problems, with your RSRP and RSRQ, then you must look for different solutions. Either an antenna that's better focused, could exclude some of the external stuff, and it will increase that power. So you've got their power and interference effectively in the band.